Why do you think you never got married? I think that the reason I didn't get married was because I would have to compromise. Diane Keaton, the iconic actress known for her roles in classic films like Annie Hall and The Godfather, has captivated audiences for decades with her talent and charm. Her unique style, both on and off screen, has made her a Hollywood legend and a fashion icon. Despite her immense success in the entertainment industry, there is one aspect of her life that has puzzled fans and media alike, her decision to never marry. In a career spanning over five decades, Keaton has been linked to some of the most eligible bachelors in showbiz, including Warren Beatty, Al Pacino, and Woody Allen. But she has remained steadfastly single throughout her life. Defying societal expectations and challenging traditional notions of success and happiness for women in the public eye. Today, we'll look at the fascinating reasons behind Diane's choice to never tie the knot and how it shaped her life and career. The Early Years and Career Success Hi. 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 Oh, hi. Hi. Well, bye. <laughs> you you play very well. Oh, yeah? So do you. Oh, God, what a, what a dumb thing to say, right? I mean, you say it, you play well, and then right away, I have to say you play well. Diane Keaton was born Diane Hall in L.A. in 1946. From a young age, she was drawn to entertainment, participating in school plays, and dreaming of becoming an actress. Her big break came in 1972 when she was cast in Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather, which launched her into stardom. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Keaton's career flourished with critically acclaimed performances in films like Annie Hall, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress. As her star rose in Hollywood, so did interest in her personal life. Keaton dated several high-profile men in the industry, including Woody Allen, Warren Beatty, and Al Pacino, but she never took the plunge into marriage. The Impact of Family and Upbringing one of the key factors in Keaton's decision to remain unmarried stems from her observations of her own family, particularly her mother. In various interviews, she has spoken about how her mother's unfulfilled ambitions influenced her perspective on marriage and career. She once stated, I think that it would have been taxing, or I would have had the role my mother had. I didn't want that. Keaton's mother, Dorothy Keaton Hall, was a homemaker who had aspirations of her own but was limited by the societal expectations of women in the 1950s. Watching her mother's struggles and unfulfilled dreams left a lasting impression on young Diane. This experience shaped her desire to prioritize her career and personal growth over traditional expectations of marriage and family life. The actress has been candid about her belief that marriage might have hindered her personal and professional development. She once told People magazine, I don't think it would have been a good idea for me to have married, and I'm really glad I didn't, and I'm sure they're happy about it too. Independence and self-discovery I liked being a daughter. I really enjoyed being a daughter. I don't think I wanted to be um, somebody who could take those, um, you know, parenthood on until I had to uh, accept that I had to move on. Keaton's choice to remain single has allowed her to focus on self-discovery and personal growth. Throughout her career, she's pursued various interests beyond acting, including photography, real estate development, and writing. She's authored several books, including two memoirs, and has developed a keen interest in architecture and interior design. This independence has also given her the freedom to make unconventional choices in her career. Keaton has never shied away from challenging roles or quirky characters, often taking on parts that defy Hollywood stereotypes for women of her age. Her ability to reinvent herself and take risks in her career may have been facilitated by her decision to remain unattached. In a 2019 interview, she reflected on her single status, saying, I'm 73, and I think I'm the only one in my generation, and maybe before, who's been a single woman all her life. Far from expressing regret, Keaton seems to embrace her unique path, recognizing that it has allowed her to live life on her own terms. Motherhood and Family Life all families, you know, are different. We're all so different. We all have these really intense emotional experiences with our family. And I, and it's just, I think, really important to talk about it more. I don't know, you know, within your own family, if you really are, you know, open about your feelings and thoughts. While Keaton chose not to marry, she did not forego the experience of family life entirely. In her 50s, she made the decision to adopt two children, her daughter Dexter in 1996 and her son Duke in 2001. The choice to become a mother later in life on her own terms is a testament to Keaton's independent spirit and her desire to experience parenthood without the traditional framework of marriage. 
Keaton has spoken warmly about her experiences as a single mother, emphasizing the joy and fulfillment she's found in raising her children. She's also been open about the challenges of balancing her career with motherhood, providing an honest and relatable perspective on single parenthood in the public eye. The actress's decision to adopt in her 50s also challenges societal norms about when and how women should become mothers. By creating her own family unit outside of marriage, Keaton has shown there are many ways to experience love and family life. Reflections on Love and Relationships I didn't want to have that. I wanted to try more adventure. And I think that I didn't know how. And I was also afraid of men. Really? Or, oh, yeah. I was afraid of men, yeah. They, they, you know, my way of thinking was you had to be chosen. I mean, I'm part of my generation or maybe, you know, like since I was born in 46, right? So I had to wait for people to ask me out. I was always being turned down or overlooked. And, you know, I saw myself as, uh, you know, kind of a victim in that area. While Keaton has never married, there have been several significant relationships through her life. But she's also been clear that these relationships, while important, were not ones she wanted to turn into lifelong commitments. In recent years, she's been candid about her dating life, or lack thereof. In a 2019 interview, she stated, I don't date. Highly unlikely. I don't remember anyone calling me going, this is so-and-so, I'd like to take you out. They don't happen. Of course not. This statement reflects both Keaton's comfort with her single status and perhaps the challenges of dating as a high-profile celebrity in her 70s. Despite not being in a romantic relationship, Keaton has found companionship in other forms. She's spoken about the joy she finds in her friendships, her children, and even her dog. In the same interview where she discussed not dating, she talked about her dog Reggie, saying, Of course, now I just love her. Dogs are irresistible. They're just idiots. Reggie is a big jerk and she's hilarious. The ability to find love and companionship in various forms is perhaps one of the keys to Keaton's contentment with her unmarried status. Embracing Individuality and Creative Pursuits one of the most striking aspects of her approach to life and career is an ability to embrace diverse creative outlets beyond acting. In a candid interview, she shared her thoughts on her literary endeavors. Well, you know, I mean, I do books. I've, I've done like about now, I've, 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 I've uh, done about, I think about nine books now. I've done visual books and I wrote two books and I've written a book about my brother, my relationship with my brother, Randy. And so those are things that I get to do because of the good fortune I have to have had a job that's been pretty consistent, really helped me. This quote reveals Keaton's multifaceted nature and her drive to express herself through various mediums. Her successful acting career has provided her with the stability and platform to pursue other passions like writing. The mention of her book about her relationship with her brother Randy showcases how she intertwines her personal experiences with her creative work. This ability to continually reinvent herself and explore new avenues of expression may be seen as a testament to the personal freedom she's maintained by remaining unmarried. Keaton's journey illustrates how a life unencumbered by traditional expectations can lead to a rich tapestry of experiences and accomplishments. Career Longevity and Continued Success I don't feel like I've transcended anything particularly, except that I've been very fortunate to have uh, many opportunities that came my way. Not many people ever have met the moment for decades upon decades. Well, yes, I'm fortunate. Yeah. I don't know why. Keaton's decision to remain unmarried may have contributed to her impressive career longevity. Without the traditional responsibilities of a spouse or the potential compromises that come with marriage, Keaton has been able to commit more to her craft and take on diverse roles throughout her career. Her filmography spans genres and decades, from romantic comedies like Something's Gotta Give to dramatic roles in films like Marvin's Room. Even in her 70s, Keaton continues to work consistently, challenging the notion that actresses have an expiration date in Hollywood. She's also become a style icon, known for her distinctive fashion sense that often includes tailored suits, high-necked shirts, and her signature hats. This unique personal style, uninfluenced by a spouse's preferences or societal expectations of how a married woman should dress, has become an integral part of her public persona. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Diane's decision not to marry? Let us know in the comments section below.